This summer, these famous dating disasters are looking for love. Joey Essex. I really want to meet Salt, and that's why I'm here. Stephanie Pratt. I don't want guys to think that if they date me, I'm going to bring them on TV and they'll be famous. Paisley Billings. I've never been in love, so I need the agents to find me someone who I can be myself with and learn to love. Tiger Drew Honey. My parents worked in the porn industry. What difference does that make? And Charlotte Crosby. I want unicorns. I want butterflies. I want fairy tale love. They've signed up to E4 Celebrity Dating Agency to find the one. Scared in case you see me vagina. <laughs> but in their search for a soulmate, these celebs aren't dating famous people. Just don't seem to work. They're dating <gasps> you. Oh my fucking god! Stop panicking. Do you have a lot of sex? What the? <laughs> They've got three weeks Hi. to meet and greet, hey, wine and dine, kiss or diss. It was disgusting. As many dates as possible. It was just awful. Before they must choose... I actually got circumcised three weeks ago. Their perfect plus one. <laughs> Tonight, the agency opens up. I'm single Joey. That's why I'm here, guys. We dive into their showbiz sex lives. What about that? A decent size. They go on the pool. So would you like to go on a date with me? <laughs> His body is unreal. Oh my god! And for the very first time, Charlotte is on it. Cheers! Our celebs go dating. Welcome to the Celebrity Dating Agency. This elite agency is about to take complete control of our stars' love lives. And with the celebs about to arrive, receptionist Tom is busy uh, squirting flowers. I am excité comme un puce, as they would say in France. Just so excited, because we're at the very beginnings. We're sowing the seeds of great trees of love. Morning, Nadia. Ah. Look at the heels, they're divine. With a track record in elite matchmaking, what's Nadia's best advice for our single celebs? If you're single and you don't want to be, the problem is you. That's told you, isn't it? She's not messing about. Her fellow agent, Eden, has a slightly warmer approach. My goal is to find one person and another person and bring them together for love. Oh, what a guy. Morning. Morning. Celebrities have got it made. They very rarely pay for a dinner or a club. But actually, the one thing they really want and they're searching for is something they can't buy which is a genuine person to love. Stop it, Eden, you're turning me. Today, Eden and Nadia will meet the celeb singletons for the first time. They've got a database full of potential civilian partners who our celebs will meet at a singles party tonight. Let's meet the first celeb as soon as Tom's finished buffing his diamond. Resist them. In your own time, Tom. Ooh. First up is MIC Stephanie Pratt. She's had a load of famous exes, including Chelsea stars, Spencer Matthews and Josh Shepard. It is so clear that you want to be single, but just show me the respect to admit that. Hello, Celebrity Dating Agency. Hi, it's Stephanie Pratt. I've got an appointment. Oh, come in. Thanks. Steph's desperate for the dating agency to find her a regular punter to share her L.A. beach house, Chelsea oh, pad and millions of dollars in the bank with. Yeah. Fabulous. Form an orderly cue, gentlemen. It's really hard because I just turned 30 and I feel like, you know, this is the age when everyone's married and having kids, but I'm so far from having kids. It's fair to say she's got a pretty shit taste in men. Literally three years ago, I met this guy on my first night ever in London named Spencer Matthews. Yes. And I was just like, oh my God, I love him. And then literally he cheated on me. Oh, I'm not one of those people that's friends with their exes. When we broke up, like, they died. Why do you think uh, you need an agency in last? What can we do for you? No one ever approaches me. Steph. Uh, come on. All my life. Look at you. You are a goddess. So where, where, where's it going wrong? I tend to go for gay guys. I don't know what the name for me is, but it is weird. Like, I'm attracted to gay guys. Not gonna help, is it? At his Essex mansion, fellow celeb singleton Joey Essex is feeling unsure about the matchmaking process. What do matchmakers do? 
they just sort of match your make, don't they? They like match you to the person that your dreams would come true with. Yeah, pretty much, Joey. Back at the agency, things aren't progressing. What's your version of good looking? Okay, guys. <laughs> she definitely needs their help. Let's meet our next client looking for love. 26-year-old Joey's been engaged, linked to Perry from Little Mix, and is even rumoured to have shared an ex with Leonardo DiCaprio. Haven't we all? But our reality TV royalty still can't find a missus. You look like you're absolutely ripe for love. <laughs> so it'd be amazing if she had brains, it'd be sick if she had a sense of humour, and bonus if she's fit. I mean, it's not massively important, the brains, but it would help a lot throughout life. It'd almost like be having a portable calculator with me or something I think a lot of people think I'm really stupid. Okay. When I really, that obviously don't just tell no one this, but I'm really clever. Like people don't realise how clever I am. Hello. Hi, it's Paisley. And how do you think fame has affected your relationships? So a girl gets with me, they know all my ex-girlfriends, they know if I've been out with, because they can just type in Joey S ex-girlfriends and they'll lo they all come up. And what type of girl are you looking for at the moment? Um, right, let's get down to business. Right, so she's blonde, beautiful. I mean, obviously blue eyes, but I mean she's kind of brown. <laughs> I'm hoping to achieve a balanced, chilled out relationship. That'd be sick. Yeah, mate, sick. Next up, Tattoo Fixer's receptionist, Paisley. That's a bit weird, you know. She's never afraid to speak her mind. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Charming. So I can't make this work. Right, let me just try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crumbs. You can do it, Tom. This wouldn't happen on your watch, Paisley. I'd just shout. Before I was in the public eye, like, anyone who came over to me, I thought, OK, they might be interested, but now it's 100% because they've got a shit toe. Paisley, you'll know her tattoo fixers. Just got, like, man repellent or something. Like, there's something on me that just keeps people away. Don't know why. I don't really, like, do dates, so I'd say, like, going down the chicken shop. And, OK, like, that's not a date. OK, oh. cool. Well, yeah, I've never been on a date then. Who is your ideal guy? I don't know, but they, they've got to have yeah. a bit of bounce. I'll probably, like, insult them and see if they can insult me back. Like, <laughs> I'll just see you. I'll be like, yeah. right, four eyes. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and you're struggling to find a date, yeah? Hmm. This is the beginning. I'm a complete amateur at dating. I'm like a newborn. I'm, like, being birthed into this dating scene. Good luck with being birthed. Next on the scene is Tiger Drew Honey. The only man to go from being a child star in a BBC One sitcom to making a documentary about having sex of a robot. Each to their own. A lot of, like, child stars are totally, like, cuckoo. They're, they're mental. All right, Nadia, go easy on him. How do you think that's affected the way people sort of interact with you? I think I do prefer, actually, if I do meet someone who doesn't initially know who I am. Yeah. He's not the only famous one in the family. His parents are also stars. Porn stars, <clears throat> apparently. My dad and mum have been in the porn industry for the most part of their lives. When I was three or four, they would tell me that, um, you know, mummy and daddy film people having special hugs and, and people enjoy it. Speaking of special hugs... Do you have a lot of sex? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe once every... If I'm not with someone, maybe once every few weeks. You monster. Tell us about the dream girl. Someone who I can have intelligent conversation with. I like a little bit of quirkiness. I quite like a little bit of a foreign look, I think. What if a girl got really drunk on a date? That's a, a turn off. I don't really like those people who have that massive party culture of go out all the time, off to Zanti, off to the MAGA, you know, every year. You're going to absolutely love our next celeb. Outrageous TV star and party girl Charlotte Crosby, who lists the love of her life as tequila. Oh, thanks, mate. Hello, oh, hi, Tiger. Good. I really recognise you. 
Yeah. Really? Well, I recognise you too. You're the, the child who was on that show. Yeah, I was. Out, out. London? Yes! I. Who am I? You're Charlotte Cosby. Thank you. Yeah. I'm hoping to get a few interesting, fun dates with some really hot boys and maybe an engagement. It's too eager, isn't it? <laughs> eager? Nah, think big. I'm a bit scared in case you see me vagina. OK. Because this is very short. Anyway, why are you here? <laughs> I would like to find a nice boy. Well, that's you're in the right place. That's what we do with him. They need to be good looking, taller than me. Right. They need to keep us on my toes. Is that all? What about good hair? I would like them to have some pubes. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I want to meet someone who wants to lay in bed at night and talk about if aliens really exist. And then maybe one day, when we get old and retire, work in a zoo. The last relationship was just shit. <laughs> um, I don't want to get upset because all I do is cry about it, but it was just awful. I really just want to meet someone who loves us for who I am and I can love back and have a happy relationship with. Well, the interesting bit will be... The, the mixer party. What if I'm too nervous to talk to someone? I get very nervous and then I start needing a nervous poo. And then all I'll do is fart the whole night. It'll just be a disaster. I'm hoping the agency can point out what I've been doing wrong and maybe find someone who love me for me. Well, you've come to the right place. Nadia and Eden's clients are all ordinary people looking for an extraordinary celeb boyfriend or girlfriend. That way. It's time for the singles mixer, full of nice, intelligent, good-looking, foreign-looking, quirky sorts with bants and possibly even pubes. Shall we meet them? Hey, I'm Flo, I'm 21 and I am a student. My name's Marlene. My name's Jack Ravel. I'm Ellis, I'm 21 years old. I like playing tennis. I am a bit of a clean freak. I don't have OCD. Love travelling. Meeting new people, seeing you know, new places. Say hi, Mum. Say hi. I am definitely, definitely looking for love. I can sell a boat. Leave me alone, Mum. I told my friends about this, they'll probably think she's crazy. But they wouldn't be surprised, to be honest, because that's me, Marley. Marley, crazy Marley. Thanks, crazy Marley. All we need now are our famous five who are prepped and raring to go. Hi. Like, what do you say after hi? Like, hi. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Either everyone's really, really ugly and I don't get on with them and we don't have anything in common and they don't want to date me. What? No, I mean. Or everyone's really good looking and we don't have anything in common and I don't get on with them and they don't want to date me. Everyone, stop panicking! If they don't like us for what I look like now, then they don't deserve us. Coming up. Hello. It's time to watch our celebs. Absolutely shitted it. Hi. Um, oh my fucking god. Welcome back to Celebs Go Dating. Dating agents Nadia and Eden have just three weeks to find our celebs love. They've arranged a singles mixer packed with regular people trying to bag a celeb date. But in a cruel twist, it's the celebs who'll be doing the asking out. Time to reveal our famous faces. Am I supposed to feel this nervous? Not a strong start, is it, Charlotte? Are you OK? Eden, I am freaking out. I've been on five dates in my whole entire life, so I haven't got that much dating knowledge. Next through the door... Hello, tiger. Drew, honey. The celebrities probably used to roped-off VIP areas, but they can't be intimidated by walking into a room full of ordinary people. Hi, Daniel Tiger. Nice to meet you. You are? Marley. Marley. I am so nervous right now. Don't be nervous. So you're Tiger. You're on a documentary. Yeah, I did the documentary. My, my, my name's going to get a drink. It. I'm, I'm going to get a soft drink, I think. Hello. 
doing her best to sneak in like a ninja, it's dating Virgin Paisley. I'm like, I don't know what we walked into. It's, it's very nerve-wracking, man. No. I don't like feeling uncomfortable or nervous, so I'll either have a drink or I'll just get myself out of that situation. So I need to get a drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go, just right on it. God, it's really hot. Can I use this plate to um, fan myself? <laughs> the next celeb is on his way, and this bunch won't be phased at all by him. Not one bit. Right, Marlene? <gasps> oh, my fucking God! I do think a lot of girls chase me because of the whole fame thing. Like, I get some girls throwing herself at me, but sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Where did the girl was that? Yeah, yeah. Don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. Yeah, I need a drink, yeah. This is a big moment, Marlene. What's your name? I'm Charlotte. I'm Charlotte Essex. Oh, no. You want a shot, don't you? I'm having a shot. Oh, yeah. Peter, yeah. Come in. Whilst Joey and Charlotte flirt with each other, Paisley's struggling to flirt with anyone. He was saying that you don't really go up to guys and punch at them. This is what you're going to do now. This is kind of like, this is why we're here. Let's just do this one first. Hello, darling, you all right? Joey, Essex. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Marley. Marley, yeah? I'm not going to forget the stuff of Marley. Oh, no, I remember that definitely, for sure. <laughs> but I'm doing this shot. Right. Oh, oh. Um, I'll, I'm just going to leave you to it. Right. Have a nice time. Joey's Marlene's oh, dream yeah, guy, know. and this is her big chance. What's up? Plat call, Marlene. Are you here to look for a girlfriend? Oh, God. Like, honestly, thing is, yeah, in three years, I've had two dates. I've kissed one guy in three years. What? It's quite embarrassing. I mean, I don't know whether to say that's frigid. No, it's not frigid. Or you're a good girl. I want to go, to go around here, come. Let's go around here. Come on, babe. Marlene, that is not Planet Cool. What turns me off? Pestering. This sounds so bad, man. Marley, yeah, keeps going to me like she'll walk over and there'll be a girl talking to me, and she'll just give me this one, like this. And then start talking to me like that. En route from Chelsea is Steph planning her pulling technique. I go out, I never, like, walk to guys. I walk to the bar. <laughs> Which I think I'm going to do when I get there. With Marlene keeping a watchful eye, Joey might have found the petite blonde that he was after. And he goes straight for the romance. Apparently someone fired on her earlier. Yeah, that was me. I mean, I don't really nice to be romantic. I just sort of be me. I mean, Joey Essex, just, just be myself, you know what I mean? Just be Joey, that's it. Well, You're bare dirty, man. How old are you? 21. Which celebrity would you like to date? I really like just the sound of the Essex voice. Okay. So, like, the only way is Essex type. I don't, I, like, I don't know what it is, it's their voice, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Well, how old do you think I was? <laughs> no, I don't know, about 22? Oh, that's OK. Like, that's like, that's like, so like, you got that in? Oh. She's trying to steal me. Tweet. Oh, Wait, let, let's, let's, let's run over Special here quickly. Page. Come over here. Special follow page. me. Follow me. Wait, let's go over here. Meanwhile, Paisley's still petrified of talking to anyone with a penis. Time for an intervention. I've literally only come this far into the room. Right, I'm not been like inside. I'm going to say inside, but you know what I mean. I'm here because I want to like share my life with someone, like go and do fun stuff with someone, like. Why am I laughing on my own? There should be someone there to laugh with me. Do you know what I mean? If you were going to rate yourself out of ten, how would you rate yourself? Six and a half. Oh, get out of here. You're way better. Yeah. Oh, my God, guys. Uh... Are you welling up? Ugh. This is your opportunity. You're going to pick your date. You're going to pick. This is you. This is you. In her pursuit of love, Charlotte's tactic is to get deep and meaningful. What is your favourite colour? Oh, for fuck's sake. One, two, three, green! Oh, we weren't the same. It means We're not a match. You smell amazing, Mike. Thank you. Um, just had to put it out there. Thank you. Thanks for that. What, what do you do for a job? Uh, I'm personal chair. 
Duh. <laughs> Why do you want to date a celeb? Why would you not? It's someone who's going to bring something else to your table that you've maybe not had before. You did awfully. Thank you. But I did quite like that. It will stand out. Yeah. Dating someone who isn't famous is always really hard. Like, you don't know whether the intentions are real, you don't know whether they're fame hungry, and it's a bit upsetting having to always think about that in your head and never knowing if they're with you for the right reasons. Steph's driver better hurry up before Charlotte scares all the boys off. Do you know how, uh, how far away we are? About two minutes. <sighs> Back of the mixer, Paisley's still alone, and Tiger isn't. I haven't had a date for about a year. Why? I live in a village. Where do you live? Peterborough. And in three years, I've been in two dates. Well, how come? Surely you wouldn't have like trouble finding dates, because obviously you look lovely. That's what everyone says, but I haven't, I've been in two dates in three years. Is that because the guys in Peterborough just aren't very interesting? Yeah. Do you know what? When Danny came over and introduced himself, I was thinking, why are you talking to me? Just talk to Charlotte. Like, but obviously, it was a whole circle of people. And he was like, yeah, I'm Danny. And I was like, OK, yeah, go to Charlotte. Like, right, go this way. Go this way. <laughs> Danny better not be flirt with you, my <laughs> With Marlene fully occupied, Joey's having a geography lesson with student Flo. Where are you from? Um, like, well... It's Berkshire, but it's Reading. But I say Berkshire. Well, well, I've never heard of Berkshire in my life. But you've heard of Reading. Well, so, I've heard of Reading, but you use a Berkshire. Yeah, but it's like... Berkshire? Yeah, Berkshire. Oh, you posh? Still taking a play. And that's a long conversation. Having escaped Marlene, Tiger's now chatting up jewellery seller Sumter. How tall are you? I'm 5'7". Oh, okay, that's Take quite tall, off, I'm literally just like 10. That's quite tall. You say 5'11 most of the time. Yeah. Uh, Great height, yeah. chair. You're all right. So what do you do? Well, um, I'm, I'm an actor. Um, <laughs> what do you, you, you're, and you're a model. Um, eh? And you're a model. So I'll speak to you in five minutes. Yeah. Right? How old are you? We spoke about that. Yeah. So why, why are you here? We'll uh, leave you to it, Tiger. So let's recap on our potential power couples. Joey's still going with the flow. Charlotte's going for another drink. And Paisley's finally plucked up the courage to talk to someone with a penis. What could possibly go wrong? Apart from Stephanie Pratt arriving. All right, mate, stick the mouse back in the house. I don't really know what kind of guy I attract because no one talks to me. And also, I'm so old-fashioned, I would never make the first move. I watch Breaking Bad and... Hey, oh, yeah. Steph never gets approached by men, really. I think I can be, I'll, I'll personal train you for free. Just when I thought I was getting somewhere, I feel like that girl at the school disco who's got no one to dance with. Aw, oh, Pays. Coming up, who's going to ask out who? You are a cat. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hey. And Joey gets blown away on his day. <laughs> Welcome back. The celebrity dating agency's mixer is hotting up and our celebs are on the pool. By the end of the night, they'll ask someone out. So far, Tiger and Joey have ditched Marlene. Joey's after posh student Flo. You got your eyes on anyone else or you just got your eyes on me at the moment? <laughs> and Tiger's trying his luck with saleswoman Somto. Charlotte's still having a session with trainer Danny. And Paisley's finally hit her stride with Dancer Cory. Do you have any tattoos yourself? Uh... But Steph is now completely surrounded. Sorry, Steph, I get the feeling none of this lot are gay. Everyone's, like, trying to describe themselves, you know, so fast. So, literally, I'm getting spat on by these guys. Literally, like, droplets on my face. I've walked past you five times, and there is literally cock galore. Do you like any of them? Like, three of them. What? Ellis is really hot. What about you? Um, Jack, with a bit of the beard and the navy top and the blazer, I'm gonna go and talk to him now. Do you know what? I've always wanted a coat like this. Now Steph's distracted, Paisley makes her move. Guys, right, reminds me of what you do, please. Professional dancer. Aya! 
Uh, what styles? Uh, Tell me. Hip hop, ballet, contemporary. I'm a fusion artist, so I fuse styles together. Do you dance? I was a dancer before anything else. Oh, that's great to hear. Like... Corey's a dancer. He's got a gorgeous smile and a cute little hat. I'm into him. Who doesn't love an app? With the night in full flow, the celebs are starting to narrow down their options. I'm going for a drink and a chat around there. Yeah, sure. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Joey. What's up? Do you want to go for a drink? We're going for a drink. See you later. You lick my salt, I'll lick your salt. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, a bit sad because my heart was Joey Essex. I tried to chat to him, but he wasn't really interested. It's a little bit embarrassing. Moisturise hands, aren't you? No, no, uh, yeah, moisturise daily. <laughs> you are, you're... Fire oil. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. I think. She likes me, I hope she likes me, because I, I like her. She's a nice girl, you know? Do you want to go and date me or what? Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, OK. I'll be in touch, yeah? OK. Uh-huh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Flo's so ping. When I take a step back, I'm like, OK, no, this is Joey Essex. He is a celebrity. He's asked me out on a date. Um, I'm quite nervous about it, if I'm honest. Naked Butler Jevon is giving Jack from Surrey some stiff competition. How will Charlotte choose between them? What about a uh, six pack? Never had an ab in my life. My perfect boy's got to have a six pack. Oh, I can see one already. Fucking hell. There's like six of them and everything. Fucking Christ. Face or body? Be honest. Body. It's got to be body. What a fucking yeah. dent! Jack! Sorry. You have not got an Sorry, I haven't got but they're like dent. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm a bit picky and everything I want. I need to tick all the right boxes. I'm 26 now. Talk to me more about picky. What about if you ask them how many inches are you? But how like are we talking like roughly? It can never be that skinny. First <laughs> <laughs> of all. What about that? That's about a good six. That's a decent size. Yeah. So do you want to keep this as an example? Yeah, can we take that? We'll um, we'll keep that. His body is unreal. Jevon's abs might have bagged him a date. Oh, hang on. Okay. Hiya! Oh, God, he's got six tight. Listen, what I want to say to you is I'd love to get to know you a little bit more. Let me go on a date with you. And then maybe you can see what's underneath. But I'm not just going to be flashing it here and now. I'm a bit better than that. So let's right. go on a date. But I feel like you want to get to know any girl a bit more. Do you want to go on a date with me or not? Oh, <laughs> I don't know whether I can answer that in front of all Right, that's fine. Listen, I ain't gonna wait around for this long. <laughs> Seriously, you go. Way. Here you go. No, yes, yes, OK. You want to go out? Tom, 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 Tom. Right, right you, you, like, just kidding. Yeah. Tom, darling. Tom, getting a little bit awkward. He is literally the dent, the dent is like forcing us on a date. I'm definitely not forcing you, dude. Seriously. Dude! 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 It's a wise decision. <laughs> for someone who's shagged a robot, Tiger's really struggling to chat up a human. Do you sing for a living at all? No, not at all, no. It's probably fair to say that my flirting skills could do with a, with a bit of a polish. Do you ever watch Brand Designs? Oh, why did I do that? No idea, mate. Right, Steph's narrowed it down to yoga teacher Ellis and northern lad Joss. Who will get the California girl? You guys all kind of have your own schedules, huh? Yeah, for me, I do. I've got a proper schedule. I'm not doing anything. But Sorry? I'm flexible. You say I'm not doing anything? Not you are a catch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm free. I want you. <laughs> Thank you. Out of the celebrities um, to choose from, I'd probably choose Steph Pratt. She seems mostly my type. Blonde, blue eyes, quite petite frame, into her health kind of stuff. Would you like to go out? 100%, yeah, I'd love to take you out. Okay. Thank you. Oh, my God, I've never asked out a guy. Sorry, right, guys. I've got, listen, I'm going to leave you to it. Okay. Right. I think Ellis is really hot, and he's goofy. Your last name? Partridge, like in a pear tree. Oh, I mean, how easy is this? Yeah, exactly, it's not Christmas. <laughs> got an example for Christmas everything. came early for me anyway, so... Okay, these sorry, lines, lines are, are like... They're just falling out. They're really cute, but... He has a line for everything. But he's actually making me pretty excited about our date. I think I made a good choice. So it's official. Our female celebs are going dating. Apart from Paisley, who's still struggling. 
only like one person. Okay. Yes. Get some bloody balls yeah. and courage and go and get the job done. In five, four. I've only got one guy that I really like and that I think likes me, so I'm going to put all my eggs in one basket. But if Corey says no, I'm actually going to cry. I have a question to ask you. Yes. Um. Oh my God. Would you go on a date with me? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Would you actually? Yeah, why not? I don't see why not. You're not just saying it for the sake of saying it. Like, no, actually... generally, I would. I would love to. I would love to court you. This isn't my life. I'm so happy right now. All the girls have bagged the date. Now Tiger's ready to pop the question. Would you like to get married? I'll save it for series two, mate. Like, if you found the right person. I didn't expect it to be this difficult. Um, right then, so would you like to go on a date <laughs> with me? No, seriously, I was going yeah. there. No, yeah, sure. No. With less pressure. I know this yeah. has been a quite a weird day, I have to say. Yeah. Have you ever asked anyone out, stone cold sober, in front of numerous TV cameras? I wouldn't recommend it. I think Tiger's quite good looking. Yeah. And that's a full house. It's the end of the night, and all our celebs have found a date. Well, now, was it? My stomach was in my bum hole. Oh, Lord. Moving on. <laughs> The morning after the mixer, and today Charlotte and Joey will be going on their first dates. Is that coffee machine on? Oh, yes, it is on. It's Prosecco, that's what does it. But not before a pep talk from the agents. Yo, 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 Tom, it's Joey Essex, J.E. I'm in. Hello. It's good to see you again. How are you feeling? Yeah, yeah, I feel good. It was awkward. I mean, you saw the girl, right? That, that red dress girl. Marlene. It was just on me. Every time I'd look around, like, it'd be awkward. I'd, be, I'd, I'd, I'd put my head down like that, and then I'd look up, and they'd all be going. But you must get that everywhere. Yeah, but not as bait, not as, not as, bait as that. <laughs> it's a flow. Flow. Hmm. Is she your usual type? She's not my, like, usual type, but she's, but she, it's good that she's different, because this is what I'm, you know, I want to do this. I want to experience dating girls who are probably ain't my type. Let's talk about, um, like, Charlotte and all yeah. the other celebs okay. that were there. I mean, Charlotte's always wanted to go and date with me. <laughs> Being in a relationship with a celebrity is just... I mean, I, li I would like to say now that it'd make it easier, but I just don't know if it would. We both, like, ar like argue, but in, like, a funny way. Probably, probably won't work. But we, who knows, you know, you know what I mean? She, she, she could be the one. Speaking of which... A hungover Charlotte surfaces for a pre-date debrief before meeting Danny later. Hi, Tom, it's Charlotte. Oh, hello. There was one really awkward moment. OK. Danny, he went, dude. Oh. And called us dude. So he talks to you like crap, insults you. Yes. And you, out of all the men in the mixer, you choose him to go on a date with. You want to go on a date with me or not? <laughs> I just think he's got a chance of pulling it back around. Really? I would say, of all the guys at the mix of the, the bar, was probably your boyfriend the most. Just felt nervous, and the only thing that was going to ease the nerves was having a couple of drinks. How do you think tonight's going to go, though? Are you planning to get pissed tonight? I don't think I physically can. I've, I've, I just don't think I can. Mm. Then that, if you don't think you need a drink tonight, that's a good start. It's a great start. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun. I hope so. Do I stick with what the agency said and just not drink? Nah! Coming up, first day nerves. We're planning this stuff, man. He's not going to come. And a medical emergency. Should we get first aid? We're back! As some of our single celebs head to the agency. Hi, it's Paisley. Joey's trying to dress to impress his date, Flo. I mean, I could go really edgy, yeah? Meanwhile, Charlotte's in a hotel room getting ready for her date with Danny. But will he be coming back to her room later tonight? I will not be inviting the date back. Not after the first date. Maybe after the second, though. <laughs> At 
the moment, I can't even imagine kissing Danny on this date because it was so awkward at the mixer. But I know I need to keep an open mind and just see what happens when I get there. Rank, right, my forehead looks so big. I'm very unconfident tonight. I'm very insecure. You're not the only one, Charlotte. Over in Essex, Joey's getting ready to go with the flow. You can't just go on dates and just expect to do everything. You've got to, you've got to plan this stuff, man. This way. I'm all about the threads, and threads is my thing. So I'm going to look sick tonight, and I'm going to look very Freddy for Flo. I mean, I could go really edgy, yeah? Like, I'm about to, about to go and send a call. <laughs> when was the last time you watched Wimbledon, Joey? 1983? I ain't got no clothes. Talking of wardrobe nightmares. How do I get the goddamn iron out? I mean, I've never ironed upright before. I've never known anything so stupid. Come on, Charlotte, you're ironing on a wall. Where are you going? Well, look, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Could you bust that? That'd be, no, that, that'd be silly. But I, I don't want to try too hard. I want to turn up and just be like, yeah, what's happening? Why wouldn't I? Because you're going on a date, not to play tennis. I can't change now, I ain't got time. My day's probably really sugar up. Are we, re we ready? Because I, I mean, she, I mean, I ain't got watch on. Can't take the time anyway. Talking of time, Charlotte's still um, taking care of business. That was bad. Nervous poo done. Time to get going. Hi. Charlotte's decided to meet her date Danny in a burger bar. Despite Nadia's advice to stay sober, Charlotte's settling her nerves the only way she knows how. I am so nervous. I get nervous for dates anyways, but me and Danny didn't exactly hit it off at the mixer. Why did I even agree to go on this date? I know I said I wouldn't have a drink, but I think I'm going to need one to settle me nerves. Easy, Tiger. He's not gonna come. Staying close to his Essex roots, Joey's meeting his date Flo at his favourite local, the Sugar Up. Being Essex royalty, Joey's used his connections to reserve an area, especially for his date. Lucky girl. But where is she? He may not be able to tell the time, but even now Joey knows when he's been kept waiting. Can I have a um, can I have water for now, please? I, I, think, I don't know if I, I think I might have been stood up. Where is she? I mean, the longer I wait, the more nervous I'm going to get. Hey, uh. Oh, it's Flo. Hey. Sorry, I just, you right? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. You? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thank God she's here. She looks naughty as well. She looks nice, and uh, she's got them diamonds on her eyes, which is exactly how I remembered. So. Perfect. You've been looking forward to the date? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you look nice. <laughs> yeah, you too. Thank you. No, I just like, like a like yellow, like like... tennis player, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I, I just I didn't know what to wear. I just thought. I'd, no, I'm yeah. loving it. Obviously, thanks for coming to Essex. Didn't know if he was coming or not. Oh. I thought he was going yeah, to like... swerve me. I signed you up. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was going to get stood up. Oh. I don't. Have you have you dated before? Yeah. Have you? Oh. But like like Nando's. <laughs> Back in London, Charlotte is still waiting for Danny. And by the looks of it, she's run out of booze. <sighs> Thank the fucking Lord. Praise the Lord indeed. Danny's here. Hi, Danny. Hi. Right. How are you? Good, you? I'm really nervous. Really? Why? Are you not? You look stunning. Thank you. You're nice. Danny's arrived, and I'm feeling really anxious. But he does look really nice. Is he going to start talking at us again? Because that'll be so awkward. This dude needs to say what I want to hear, or else I'm out of here. I think I was a bit more nervous because of the weird time we had at the mixer. I just, I, I couldn't work it out, you know. I so what, thinking, what happened? Well, you tell me. You were the one giving it the bigger light. Like, you? I'm, me? I was really excited to meet her. Right. right. And then, like, my first meeting of you and stuff, I'll answer your questions, you like, shit, shit, answers, shit, answers. Oh, like, wow. OK, this girl, so like, what, a mum. So what about when you came over and called us dude? Then you strolled over 
and demanded to know my answer then and now. I know. Well, I don't. I don't like hanging around. Like, like you must know if you like if you like someone and you see someone. Yeah. Then, without asking them three of the like most random questions ever, you'll know if you want to go on a date with them or not. True, true. So, oh, do you apologise now? I, yeah, I really, really do apologise for sugar on top. Is that all right? Oh, my God. Danny's apologised to us. Maybe that penis on his forehead's removable after all. I don't really date girls. I've liar. Done... I've never liar. Done... No, I've never done this. <laughs> like, one-on-one -on -one dates and that. Hey. You go to university? Yeah. What university do you go? In Plymouth. What did you study? Health, fitness, well-being. Yeah. You, you study health? Yeah. That's sick. Is it? Yeah, that's sick. Oh, I love that. I like that, yeah. yeah. I, I, I love health. Did you just say health sick? You like coconut oil? Love it. We're, yeah. on, the, we're on the same wave, then. Yeah. It just flows. Your name's perfect. Go with the flow. Me and Flo, you know, we're flowing, we're getting on, we're grooving, we're waving. Waving means like we're moving, you know what I mean? We're waving. So, um, to me, like, we're, yeah, it's going really well. Can I see your bicep now? Is that your wanking arm? No, it's actually right. You remember when I asked you at the mixer if you had some abs? Yeah, I knew you were going to ask for this. But can I touch them? Yeah, of course you can. Now? Yeah, get involved. Tense them. Danny, I can't feel them. You can't feel them? Cool. Come here. Oh, shit. You were tensing more there, you were showing off. <laughs> <laughs> First he apologises, and then he lets us feel his abs. This date is getting better and better. He might get his cock out next. The thing is, as well, I genuinely don't know nothing about you. Like, I think I've seen one scene. What was that one? Oh, I, don't, I don't... It wasn't a bad one, was it? Yeah. Oh, no! It wasn't. I've only seen one as well, and that was the one, and I was like, so wow. What was it? <laughs> That's not bad, pissing in the sink. Yeah. I thought it was going to be worse than that. Well, I don't know what else is bad, so... Oh, I'm glad that's all you've seen. Yeah, speaking. yeah, that's all I've seen. There's a lot worse than that. What are, you, what are you looking for, drinks? You want another round? No, because I was told by the agency that maybe I, I'm too dependent on alcohol on a date. They think are it's we, are bad. we on a date with the agency or are we on a date me and you? Someone just texted me. Literally, right. you've got about seven phones right now. I'm like, oh, my I God. Got, there's, there's three, there's three. You gonna eat that lemon? Um, probably not. Okay, that's fine. You love lemon? Yeah, I really do. Yes. It's cool that you love lemon. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, that was full lemon slice and rind. Right. Right, look. This is that bitch. Oh. Wait. Swear right. that lemon. <coughs> what the hell was that? Do you want me to pat your back? <laughs> oh. <laughs> are, you, are you all right? I'm okay. Are you all right, yeah? I'm just a bit gatty. It's fine, man. <laughs> We're good. You're right now, yeah? Yeah. Good? Do you need help? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm here to help. Mate, that was pretty grim. Hey, you must have been gassed up right then. Yeah, I know. Wow. That come out like fire. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a lemon. That was fire. That yeah. was like... Bleh. That was that. that I've, was got, naughty, I've got acid in my stomach. That was proper naughty. Mm. Yeah, but like, you've like... <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Weird though, isn't it? Because it's like, at one point you really fancy a girl, like you're on her so much. I'm, I, I'm like, oh my god, this is the girl of my dreams. Like, I can't believe it. I found her. It's sick. And the next thing it's like, oh. <laughs> do you want me to take you to the um, toilets? Why aren't you? Um, I'll, I'll get. Should we get first aid? Tomorrow night, who will make the grade? And who will get the chop? I actually got circumcised three weeks ago. As our celebs. She burped quite a lot. Go! Obviously, I'm not going to tell him I need a poo, am I? Dating! You're going to fuck a, a robot today, Tiger. <laughs>